In this video, we're going to talk about the five variables that you need to know when you're getting fitted. We're going to talk about each variable in detail, and we're going to tell you which ones are most important when you're getting fitted, which ones are least important, but, and which ones you have to have when you're getting started if you're a beginner. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Wade Fullingham. I'm the Director of Instruction here at Fort Golf Academy. This is Paul Schaub. He's our lead club fitter here, also one of our awesome instructors here. He's going to walk us through some of these different things that allow us to have a good fitting and you have to have when you're getting clubs. So the first thing we, let's talk about, let's talk about the different types of club heads because we know we have blade heads, we have the cavity back heads, and then we have what we call game, improve, game, game improvement heads. Why would you choose one of those over the other? Uh, I mean, for the guy that likes to shape a shot a whole lot and is a really low handicap, blades are probably a way to go. If you're going to go more into uh, the tour cavity back, it's kind of a best of both worlds. A lot of guys on tour are playing that um, instead of a blade because they still have the ability to shape their shot and they have a little bit more forgiveness in the aspect. And then you got your player improvements, which is for your beginners. It needs to help them get it up in the air, land soft on the green, help them hold it the green, right. and give them that little extra distance they need. So the bigger clubs, Correct me if I'm wrong, you can hit them higher, they're a lot more forgiving, you can have more off-centered hits. So if you're not a avid golfer, meaning you don't play a ton, then having a game improvement club or something that just allows you to have a miss hit that goes uh, a better distance, because the blade clubs, if you hit those a little bit off-center, you lose lots of distance, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. So having the right type of head based off what kind of player you are is important. It'll help maximize your performance based off your skill level. Um, the second thing that we're gonna talk about is the length of your irons. Why is that important? For sure, so length of irons is, is super important because it takes into effect uh, how you're gonna set up into the shot. So if you're like six foot five, like we were talking about your uh, one of your students yep. yesterday playing standard length clubs, he's gotta bend way over and it's it just posture. never gonna be in good posture, so. And coming from the TPI world, the Titles Performance Institute, the fitness side of things, um, if your clubs are too short and you have to lean over around your back, it, it can cause back pain and it, it, it can really affect the, uh, the dynamics of how your body moves and that can cause pain. So it's yeah. definitely important that they're the right length. Um, the next thing we're gonna talk about is the weight of the club. So the weight and the flex, so we'll, we'll, that has to do with the shaft. So, so tell me about this. So you have the different weights of the, of the iron shafts and then you have the different flexes. Let's talk about the flexes. Why, why is it important to have a right flex? So flexes is gonna be more into uh, how it's gonna re react uh, or the kick into the ball. So if you're a slower swing speed and you're swinging an extra stiff, it's never gonna get off the ground. You're gonna lose tons of distance. So you're talking about trajectory. So, that trajectory, also, so having the right flex, flex will affect flex your trajectory okay. along with distance and accuracy. Um, so if you're swinging, in the 80 mile per hour range or more in the regular flex with your driver uh, to help it get up in the air and get as much distance as you can out of it. Okay, and then why is having the right weight important? Weight's important because if I stuck, if we had like a, let's say 80 gram shaft in your driver back, I don't know, eight years ago, they, some of the guys still did it. Your tour guys are trying to swing a lot harder than us amateurs. They swing golf clubs all day long. You put a heavy shaft in there, you're gonna get tired quicker. Yeah. Um, after that, it also can affect your takeaway. Yeah, and I think I, I see it in women's golf too. Women will come in with steel shafts. Really, they're just hand-me-downs. Well, if they're too heavy for you to be able to take it back and get in the right position, or you, especially even junior golfers, then you're going to have a hard time getting the club in the right position. Sometimes, if too, I've seen it's hard to get it in the air if it's too heavy. Yeah. Because then you can't put enough speed on it, and it won't whip right, and you can't get it high. So having the correct weight is super important. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is lie angle. So what is lie angle? So lie angle, is, uh, lie angle is the angle you have between the sole and the hosel right here. And the important part so it's of like, it's like So it's how it sits on the how ground. How it sits on the ground. So that would be flat. If, it, if this was staying on that's the ground, toe up, it bend it up. And that's and, toe down, yeah. right? And so, that's, so how you bend it this way is what he's saying is lie angle, right? And why is that important? Uh, it's important because, let's say, for a static fittings aspect, um, which I would recommend for any beginner golfer, um, it's going to take into effect your height and your length of arm. So if you have short arms and you're really tall, you're going to need more upright club, whereas if Upright meaning the toe up and then... Yeah, so it'd be sitting more this way with it being flat. So the, we'd have to bend the hosel this way to make it sit flat on the ground. Right. Um, and that, that'll affect, so going into what Paul's saying, 
if the club, if when you're hitting golf balls and the toe is digging, it's going to make the club spin. And then a lot of your contacts will be more towards the toe or the heel. Vice versa, if the heel is digging, then it's going to close the club face and you're going to hit more exactly. shots in the heel. Or if you try to hit it in the toe, you're going to hit it thin. So it's important that we get a good lie angle. Now, also, a lot of that depends on the level of player you are. If you're a yeah. beginner, you know, your dynamic lie angle, which dynamic is moving, obviously, at impact is important. But if you're a beginner, then having a static, meaning that we just set it based off how you stand to the golf ball, that's probably more what you're looking for if you're just getting started. But if you're, if you're already an advanced golfer or, you know, an avid golfer, then your dynamic one is more important than your static. Static will get you started. Dynamics what really matters because it doesn't matter how you set up it. It really matters what's at impact, right? Correct. And for example, the reason you do the lie angle is once again we get into posture. So if you're stand, if you're like me, I'm five foot nine with a six foot one arm length span. I have one degree flat irons because my arms hang so low. I knew they were too long. <laughs> Got long arms. Okay. Uh, so anyway, so. We, I think we both agreed that the most important things are the length of the club. For sure. And then the weight of the club. Yep. If you're going to get anything done, those are the most two important things because the too long, it affects your golf swing. We teach all the time. We've seen clubs too long, especially for juniors or even women. It makes it hard for them to take it back. Obviously, it can affect your posture if they're too short. So that's why we say that's one of the most important things. If you're going to get anything right, make sure it's the right length. So you can buy a cheap set or you can get fitted, but the most important things are the right length. So come in and see us, and we can tell you if they need to be cut down, right? Also, if they're, they're too heavy or sometimes if they're too, too light, light. We, we don't see that as often, but most of the time they're too heavy, then we need to make sure the right length so that they don't – uh, the right way so that you can actually control the club because we've seen trajectory problems come yeah. directly with that and that can be the difference between a graphite and a steel shaft for sure right yeah so i hope you guys learned a little bit about the different things that we look for when we're fitting so we'll have another video coming out soon talking about should you get a fitting or should you get a lesson we would always recommend and we'll talk more about this later getting a lesson first because then we can give recommendations about your club and then if we need to get new clubs or get fitted for new ones then we can do a fitting but anytime you're about to get new clubs or you think about getting new clubs get a lesson first to kind of see where, where what you need to change or maybe you need to take lessons before you get it we'll get another video like that but hey guys make sure to book a fitting with us there's gonna be a link below where you can go in and book a fitting with us uh, eventually we'll have all this stuff on our website talking about all the different clubs that we have and uh, we're gonna have some cool brands coming in here but um, make sure to click that link also please hit the notification bell and subscribe and like it all three of those things that everybody talks about on YouTube so that'll help us out a lot help help us get noticed here see you later Thank you.